So one of the best things at Rancho Las Cruces is to be able to get a fresh pot of coffee and have it delivered to your room by me to my lovely wife. I gotta be quiet because it's early morning here. We want to make sure not wake anybody up. Just smell that coffee and we're gonna be able to drink it. Right here. Best part in the morning. This is what we're waking up to. Here at beautiful Rancho Las Cruces. Hmm, so what's this? When we went to bed, Randy and Karen decided that they wanted to stay up and have another adult beverage. Hmm, let's take a look over here. What, what do we got over here? Oh, what is that? What is that? And guess what? Randy and Karen are still asleep. Thank you, Randy. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you? It's interesting. I guess you went to see the other, but she's 40, or she's 53, so. Good morning. Good morning. Sunshine. This is how you eat papaya. Because what? Give you a papaya lesson. Papaya. Lime, a little bit of a squeeze, dash of salt, sprinkled on top of the lime juice. You can have mine. <laughs> lime pie pot, papaya. Mm. I'm so excited to see the goat. You've been after that goat. What's the deal with the goat? I want to be a goat. The greatest of all time, right? We're going to go see the goat. Isn't Tom Brady here? I just want me to get you some sweet milk. Have you seen that goat yoga? Goat yoga. Maybe a little baby goat. When you do yoga, like if they, they come and they climb on you. Like if you're in Downward Dog and the goat jumps on your back. Okay. It's pretty cute. Starts on your... You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go the cool again. stuff too, like the church is really cool. The house up there. In, all throughout here are like little houses where people live and when they, when they come here. So we have two houses here and the pond, which is kind of funny. Gato! The cat's eating that big ass rattlesnake. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> so someone lives there. That's where Paco, who's like one of the kind of the main guy with all the boats, he works on all that stuff. He lives there. Uh, back here is all the way you get to a ranch. get the full tour. Cool. Until they tell us not to. Oh, wow. uh, 
Yeah. So good. Oh, look at the baby. Hello, babies. This is the middle school. They're just they're going through adolescence. These these are the awkward teenagers. Yeah. Grow under your nose. <laughs> Is that where all the fruit goes from breakfast? I think so. Yeah, some extra fruit, extra. They probably love it. Oh yeah. Piece of pineapple in there. Yep. That's usually what happens when I get close to animals. They just start taking a dump. So what's going on with the uh, this cat over here against the fence? No, that's milk. This is a harem. Yeah, wow. Although there is one guy that's, in here which I can't That's got to be out. uncomfortable. See, see the guy in the, it's kind of like drinking out of the, the brown yeah, one? Yeah, I like the brown he has a penis. I don't know what he's doing in there. But it looks like the world's smallest penis, so maybe oh that's a problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just calling it like it is. Well, it's like a dog, Mom. I feel your pain, buddy. Feeling your pain. I know, you need a longer rope. Oh. Apparently it's pregnant. Oh really? And uh, no one knows how it got pregnant. Oh wow. So Seriously? Yeah, yeah. The big joke is that someone around here comes <laughs> in the back and hangs out with a donkey at night. Maybe it was one of the ghosts. It could have been. <laughs> well that's what there was a wedding with all the bunch of people. And I made a joke to some of these guys. They've been joking about it before I think, but I was like, yeah, there's some girls here, but if not, I got the donkeys in the back, right? And now every time I see like you know, some of these random guys, they're like, oh, la burra, la burra. They start talking about the donkey. <laughs> like I'm the donkey guy. <laughs> so it just passed around. Oh no, he, it was him. <laughs> That's really funny. It's between these guys and these guys. We'll get out to, um, I, I bought the Beach. Right? Okay. By the, the ski course and all that. Amazing tour yesterday, which was great. Mm -hmm. And we came up on this place called I Want to Be Alone <laughs> Beach. What's, hey. the, what's the story behind that? Oh, one of my dad's Hollywood girlfriends, Greta Garbo, I think it was, with her accent. So, I always stuck to my dad's head. So, he named the beach I Want to Be Alone Beach. <laughs> so, this is the I Want to Be Alone Beach. It's seven miles of private beach. Seven miles. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And it goes all the way around. I noticed there was a bell too that we came up to. And there, are you supposed, what was this? What's the... Well, that's you want to be alone beach. And so if, before you go to I want to be alone beach, you're supposed to ring the bell. Uh, <laughs> make sure that you're not case interrupting. You're interrupting yep. anybody. <laughs> Got it? Got it. I think they're probably looking for Bonita Blanca. Bonita Blanca. Oh, that's what we had last night. Yep. Yeah. So that was that really exactly? good. Because I know Benita on the Pacific side, you just don't eat. Yeah. It's too oily. And that's the, I don't know. That's the Negro. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the white, you can't. The white, yeah. The white, white's really good. It's basically like a, I mean, I'm, I'm talking, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's kind of like tuna. -y. Yeah. I think it's from that family, the same. Yeah. Um, the Jack family. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's, it's really good. That's what we caught. We went fishing a few days ago and caught that. We caught a couple white Benita and then an amberjack and a Cabrilla. Nice. And the Cabrilla is great, you're like grilling up. Yeah. And that Amberjack, we had some last night. If really you guys want to like hop on a jet ski or Pez something Ford. later, you could do that too. Oh, cool. Like, we can go, you guys want to see the church and Rod's house and all that stuff. Yeah, that'd be great. We'll go there and then maybe... Well, we end up at Desi's house. Okay. Okay.
that. There's a lot of mango. <laughs> Is that how you usually? Um, Mangoes. And so we just did uh, mango season. We harvested. <laughs> we harvested some. Uh, yeah, we go through the mangroves. Mangroves, as did we. We got a pretty big one here. Yeah, we got some mangroves. It'll be good. Two months. Did you guys harvest some mangroves? Yeah, they took them down. Did you harvest some mangroves too? Yes, we got a. Uh, we had a good. Just, we had a good crop this year. I took off my video, damn too, and then all of a sudden they started coming down. No, this place is pretty. This is my favorite church. Where they got married, right? They just got married last week. Did they come read? Oh, yeah. This place is incredible. And at night, it's so cool. Oh, wow. And then uh, I saw there's this incredible uh, church that's up on, on top of the hill that's absolutely spectacular. And, and I, have you had some great weddings there? Oh it's yeah, we have a lot of fantastic weddings. Yeah. My dad said he built two churches. He, he thinks he's in. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. Okay, well, I want to show you, you're going to find this interesting. I want to use to see the plaques on the side of the bill, like Desi, and you'll see it's interesting. So okay. What, what is this? The plaques and memorials, like you've got Rod and Desi. Where are they? Over here, right okay. on the other side. Because I remember when I was getting into like, the game. Well, we stuck me asking. I thought there were pictures of like, all the Crazy, right? Yeah. What was Stephanie asking? Oh, they're the 12 stages. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Well, I knew a few of them. So Joaquin Ayala was the guy that ran the place forever. I mean, he was like the guy and um, beloved. Um, he was legendary. Legendary. And so I love that he's here because he's a huge part of Las Cruces history. And then John Hartman was a member, but he was a fixture here too. And I'm surprised that- He was young. Yeah, he, 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 um, Oh, I know the story. That's right. So he was darling. He and his wife came down here for a year and decided to homeschool their kids. Yeah. And they had all these daughters and they lived in Casa Nikki for like a year. And then like about six months later, shortly thereafter, he got really sick and just died. And it was like, oh, thank God they had that year as a family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this place really meant a lot to them. That's probably why they honored him with a plaque oh, that's cool. here. And then this is Desi Arnaz, right okay. here. Yeah. So March 1917 through 86. Um, he's actually he buried here. You know, I asked that question too. I think they're just plaques. Oh, I, think, okay. I actually think that they threw his ashes right off of where we're going to go at his house. Okay. Um, and then um, Luisa Matillo Rodriguez. I don't know who that, that may be, that may be Rod's mom. No, no, that can't be. 1885? Well, possibly. Possibly. Here's Rod, the founder. Well, here's Rod. This, this could be yeah, his that's, mom. That, is, that's that could mom. be his mom. Yeah, that makes that, sense. That, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, and then this is him. This is obviously, he just passed away in 18. Is this Carita? And look, you, you get, this is significant. Look at the dates. October 23rd, 1918 yeah. to October 23rd, 2018. Yeah. He died on his 100th birthday. No. And I remember Rod saying to me personally, huh. 
I don't want to live past 100. That's too old. Wow. That's that? amazing. He died right? on his birthday. Yeah, on his, on his birthday. birthday. And he specifically said that he didn't kill himself. He specifically said, I don't want to live past 100. That's, That's just too old. And he was funny about it. I thought, no one needs, needs to live over 100 years old. That's amazing. God bless him. There he is. Yeah. The guy was a stud. It sounds like a, a total stud. <laughs> Can you imagine the shenanigans that oh. went on here? Oh, yeah, it's right. so funny, Stephanie. I always thought the same thing. <laughs> We're like calm, politically Com correct nothings. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here there was a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. It's like oh, sealed in time, though. The, just with the old time Hollywood. There's a funny story. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like a, like a poor man, San Simeon. Sex and drugs. You know what yeah. I mean? General, right? Yeah. Same sort of idea. Did Bing and his, did they come down often? Oh, I think they came down all the time. And John, their dad, came down with his dad when he was a little boy because his dad had a you know a little small little airplane he'd uh -huh. fly himself. So he, John tells the story of being um, a kid and um, you know big, listening to Big Crosby sing White Christmas wow. here. How about wow. that? Wow, that's incredible. right. Um, what an amazing place. There's some people working as well. Oh my god. Wait, now whose house is this? This is Rod's house. So the founder. Rod's that he started Palmia and and all that stuff. But okay. he this was his first his first deal. So that's here. who we saw on the plaque. Yeah, that was the big so plaque. The guy who didn't want to live the past hundred years. No one they're they're redoing it kind of and mm. not redoing it, they're kind of renovating it. They'll probably use it as yeah, part of the club and run it out, yeah, maybe. Exactly. Yeah, They want to kind of, you know, people stay here in an but mm -hmm. I think they're trying to kind of update it a little bit. Yeah. Like his bedroom, they're kind of changing a little bit. We'll go walk through. The, I know these guys are working, but I think they're on the outside. It's, you know, obviously it's all still in the family. That's part of the reason this place is untouched, because it's still all part of the, yeah. the brothers, all, you know, Mickey and his sisters, and his brother control it. Yeah. The Rod just died a couple of years ago. Look, he would jump off the roof here. He would jump off the roof. <laughs> Seriously? 90 year old guy jumping off the roof. Oh, I love that. And encouraged my kids to do it. like, you know, of course, Rod's has a test pilot. He has no fear. Of course, he's going to live. But my kids are going to get the concussion. Exactly. Right? But look at this. Look at the pool. The mosaic, the tile. Yeah. Sorry? How many rooms are in the, in the house? Yes. There's like six bedrooms, maybe. He, he, he had a big suite, his own private suite underneath. I'll show it to you. Seriously? Well, it's it's a little blown up. I think they've blown it up since. But. Intact. You think about the hurricanes and right. But you just need to see it anyway. So you go down here. This is a secret, you know. Well, well versed. This is cool. The mosaic just be cool. Yeah, thank you so much. It did not work out. Um, over there is the hacienda. That's a, you can rent that house out. It's very cool. I think that's where the Murphys are. Yeah. And then the house down from that is actually new. It's kind of a spec house. They had that for sale. That It's really the lower one. Uh -huh. It's really kind of cool. And they, I don't think they sold it, so they just rented out. And then behind it is the Pomeroy family house. It's two brothers, Lisa Pomeroy and his brother, Lynn. He's a very busy architect. Architect, yeah. yeah. He did like the John Wayne Airport. They're great. There's three guys that landed and they get the father, across. I think it's a father, son, and Holy Spirit. You think it is? Yeah, because Cortez, who founded this, thought there was an island. He baptized the island with three crosses back in 1500s. And then, and then of course, it didn't last, the crosses. So I think Rod and his staff must have rebuilt it. OK. See, Randy's their first time here, and he knows the history. Wow, Randy. Randy's a reader. Randy likes, Randy likes 